We are now going to look at some triangles and use the law of sines or cosines to solve these triangles. The way these problems are going to work, there are always six parts to a triangle, three angles and three sides. For each of these problems, they will give us three pieces of information about the triangle, and we have to find the other three. So let's look at this first problem. I'll try and zoom in so you can see the triangle. So in this case, they give us two angles, and we need to find angle A. And then here is side A, which is opposite angle A. Here is side B, opposite angle B. So just to keep track, this is angle B. So therefore, this must be angle C and side C. Let me go ahead and redraw this triangle, and then we will start solving this problem. Give ourselves plenty of room to work it out. And by the way, so here are the three answers we're looking for, angle A, side A, side B. Now for side A and B, notice they want the answer as a decimal rounded to two decimal places. That means for these problems, we're going to be using a calculator. All right, so let's draw the triangle and then we can start working. So this is 45 degrees, angle B, side B. This was 80 degrees, angle C. All right, down here is side C is five. And this is side A and angle A. So the three things we want to determine are angle A, side A, and side B. So this problem is one that we call angle angle side because they've given us two of the angles and one side. So here's what we need to determine. Now angle angle side is usually about the easiest problem to solve of all of these. First thing we do because we know that the three angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees if we know two of the angles we can very easily find in this case angle A. So if I add the angles oops If I add these three angles together 45 degrees plus 80 degrees plus A if I solve for A, 45 plus 80 is 125. So I subtract. And I think I can do this in my head. Angle A should be 55 degrees. Now to find side A and B, I can go use the law of sines. And actually, I can choose to figure out whichever side I want to start with. Just to refresh your memory, here's the law of sines. It actually has three parts to it. So for any problem you have, you just choose two of these. So let's just go ahead and try and find the length of side A. Now I know side C and angle C. So therefore, for this equation, I'm gonna use A and C. So sine of A over small a equals sine of C over small c. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in everything I know now, and then I will go ahead and solve this. So, I know angle A is 55 degrees. I do not know the length of side A. I know angle C is, angle C is up here, it's 80 degrees. 
and the length of side C is five. So now here's an equation with only one variable, so I can do some algebra and rearrange this. Matter of fact, the first thing I'll do is I'll just go through this. I mean, you could cross multiply. Actually, let's do that. If you remember algebra, one of the sort of uh, little shortcuts sometimes when you have two fractions equal, you can cross multiply, uh, it gets rid of the fractions. So, five times the sine of 55 degrees equals A times the sine of 80 degrees. So if I want to get A by itself, I can divide both sides by the sine of 80 degrees. End up with 5 times the sine of 55 degrees over the sine of 80 degrees. Now the nice thing about problems with the law of sines and cosines is the angles are always in degrees. We've had a fair amount of problems where angles have been in radians, but for all these problems, angles are in degrees. So let me go ahead and grab my calculator. So you gotta make sure your calculator is in the degree mode. I don't know if you can see it up here in the top, it says DEG. So my calculator is expecting angles in degrees. So, I'll put in 55 and I'll hit the sign and I'll divide it by 80, hit the sign and I'll take that times five. So now they want us to round to two decimal places. So I've got 4.158. So the third digit's an eight, that's gonna cause my second digit to bump up. So it looks like it should be 4.16. So I go back up here, I'm now determined A is 4.16. Now for B, I use law of cosines again, and actually with, to find B, I can group it with A or C, doesn't matter. Maybe I'll just do C again. So sine B over B equals sine C over C. Sine of B, I know B is 45 degrees, so the sine of 45 degrees over B, I don't know side B, equals sine, I know C is 80 degrees, I know side C is five. So here I can solve for B, if I cross multiply, B times the sine of 80 degrees equals five times the sine of 45 degrees. If I divide both sides by the sine of 80 degrees, sine of 45 degrees over the sine of 80 degrees. Grab my calculator, once again, make sure I'm still in the degree mode. 45 sine divided by the sine of 80 times five. So I got 3.590. So if I want two decimal places, looks like 3.59. So then I have now determined the three remaining parts of this triangle. So angle, angle side, pretty straightforward, probably the easiest triangle to solve.